which is greater, seventy one to the power of seventy or seventy to the power of seventy one? What shall we do? Usually, we have to have a look at the division because they're both exponential forms. So let's just observe seventy one to the power of seventy over seventy to the power of seventy one, and we have to compare this number with one. If this guy is greater than one, then seventy one to the power of seventy is greater. If this is less than one, then seventy to the power of seventy one is greater. So now what we're gonna do is look. We have seventy one as exponent on the denominator, and this seventy one can be written as seventy plus one, which means. We can separate this seventy to the power of seventy one into seventy to the power of seventy times seventy. This can be written as seventy to the power of seventy then times seventy. Now, this can be written as seventy one to the power of seventy. Over seventy to the power of seventy, and then times one over seventy, since they have the same exponent, and that is seventy. So we can take it out. It is seventy-one over seventy to the power of seventy, and then times one over seventy. Okay, now seventy-one over seventy is. Seventy plus one over seventy, and then also power of seventy, then times one over seventy. Now you can notice that in the bracket it is actually one plus one over seventy, and then also the power of seventy, then times one over seventy. We want to compare this guy with one. Okay, now let's focus on this thing. One plus one over seventy, also the power of seventy. Do not forget that the limit, if n tends to infinity, of one plus one over n, also the power of n, equals e, where e is the Euler's number, and it is approximately equal to two point seven one eight two eight one eight two eight forty five ninety. Forty-five. So that means e is less than three, which implies that this guy is also less than three. So the whole thing is less than three times one over seventy, and three times one over seventy is just three over seventy, and. Three over seventy is obviously less than one, because three is less than seventy, isn't it? So this guy is less than one. If it is less than one, then who is greater? Of course, the right hand side is greater. Do you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.